Okay, in this video, I'm going to continue on with my tutorials on thermodynamics and statistical mechanics. So this is number 28, and I'm going to discuss entropy versus energy graphs, which we introduced in the previous video, which is number 27, where I showed the relationship between temperature, energy, and uh, entropy. So temperature is the inverse of the the uh, del S del U, or the rate of change of entropy with respect to energy, or the inverse of it is equal to temperature. In number 26, I discussed entropy, and we saw that S is equal to K log omega, uh, where omega is the multiplicity. And number 25, I discussed the second law of thermodynamics. So it's time now just to do a very short video on the entropy versus energy graphs. So most objects, uh, the temperature of most objects increases with increasing energy. So you think about it, if you put more energy into an object, it gets hotter. So energy if you up the energy, you up the temperature. Now that's that's our observation. The question I have to you, or the question I pose to you, though, is, you know, do we understand everything? Uh, do does our physical intuition, or observation, or experience explain everything, or does it is it exhausting? Is it exhaustive? And the answer is no. And you know, if you want to look at my video on wave particle duality, you will see, of course, that. Everything we do is based on our own experience. So I'm telling you that it's possible for something to get colder as the temperature or as the energy increases. So let's just look at that right now. All right, so, so increasing temperature. Well, that corresponds to a D. So if the temperature, if the temperature goes up, well, then the, the uh, S versus U graph goes down. So it's concave down. Increasing temperature, concave down. Alright? That's what increasing temperature is. Now, this is because the body with the large del S, del U, at constant N and constant V, okay, will readily accept energy. And the body with the low, oh sorry, and is, as a result it's a low temperature. Just to remind us, we saw in the previous video that temperature is equal to del S del U, the inverse of del S del U, constant particles, constant volume. Okay, so the la if it's got a large slope of del S del U, well then it's at a low temperature and it will readily accept energy. Now, let's start plotting some of these graphs. So if I plot a graph like this, if I plot S versus uh, U, okay, this is what we call normal. Okay, because, well, it's normal because del S del U is getting is is going down. Okay, del S del U is going down. As the as the temperature is increased, the slope is getting smaller. Okay, that means temperature is going up. So the temperature is going up as the slope slowly gets smaller. Okay, or the rate of change of S with respect to U slows down. And that's what we call a normal system. And in life, for your kettle, for example will operate that way, because that's what we understand, we've seen that, so that should be no, that should be no big surprise to anybody. Now, what happens if instead the body is a concave up? Like, is that possible? I'm telling you it is possible, of course it's possible, and we just, we just don't see it on a normal day-to-day -day basis. So let's say it's concave up. Well, if it's concave up, what is getting larger? Well, del S, del U, is going up. The rate of change of S with respect to U is going up. Okay, therefore, 1 over del S del U, which is the temperature, is going down. So the body is getting colder. So as the energy increases, the body is getting colder. Now, I'm going to tell you that that is because energy is stored in potential Okay, and this happens if, if you're into astrophysics, 
then this is the sort of system you will see when you're looking at nebulae and so on. All right. See the system getting colder as energy is put in because what's happening is the uh, there is potent the energy is going into potential energy rather than into kinetic energy. And kinetic energy is heat. So if it doesn't go into kinetic energy, it must go into potential energy, and as a result, the system gets more energetic, but it's actually getting colder because there's less kinetic energy. And finally, well, what happens if the S versus U is constant? Let's see that the third and final graph. So there's U, there's S, and it's constant. Well, del S, del U is constant, and therefore the temperature, of course, is constant as the as u goes up so as you increase the energy the temperature stays constant think about it now in our own experience what system behaves such that its temperature is constant as the energy goes up the answer is a phase change so you boil a kettle going from a gas to a liquid sorry from a liquid to a gas there is you're increasing the energy but the temperature is still staying the same so that's one we've seen before so um, I think I'm going to leave it there so that's all I've got to say that you, you have three types of bodies you have one where you, your phase change is where del, del S del U is constant where del, del S del U is getting smaller the temperature is getting bigger and when del S del U is getting bigger the temperature is getting smaller and that is, uh, that is the interesting one in stellar astronomy All right. Or not stellar astronomy, excuse me, and well, it could be stellar, stellar astronomy, but uh, let's say talk about nebulae, that's a good example. So, thanks for watching. Please pass it on to your friends, subscribe to my channel, and if you're in a good mood, you might also click on an ad. Thank you.